to God, we Christians depend on God's spirit for strength and assistance that make us Christian different from religious people. Hallelujah. Okay, let's quickly go into the book of John 15, verse 7. If you abide in me and my word abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be well. If you abide in me and my way abide in you, what does this mean? You will ask what you desire and uh, it shall be what? Wow. Very sweet. I like that. If you abide in me and my way abide in you, this means Christ and his word are one. If Christ and the word are one, what does this mean to you? It means it is the word dwelling in you, which is equivalent to Christ's personal being in you. Remember, we're talking about God's spirit. That is, Christians depend upon God's spirit to worship, which make us different from religious people. Christ and where are one. This means it is the word dwelling in you, which is equivalent to Christ's personal being in you. This means the mind is not renewed without acting. Without what? The mind is renewed by studying the way and by acting upon it. You may study the way for years. If you do not at it, leave it, you are not the doer, the title, prayer fruit. In this text, the book of John 15, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you will ask what you desire. And it shall be what? It shall be done. The way here is dwelling in us. Producing prayer fruit. I take it again. The way here in that test is dwelling in us. Producing prayer fruit. It is prayer fruit. It is the way bringing forth its own kind in the believer's life. Take note of this. It is not only committing the way to memory, which is valuable, but it is letting the way become an integral part of your being. Why? Because it lives in us. Let me take you to the book of Ephesians, 3, verse 17. Christ may dwell in your heart through faith. Christ may dwell in your heart through what? Through faith. What does that mean? Means Christ dwells in our heart, through faith, faith is of man's spirit, not man's mind. Christ dwells in our heart, through faith. The way 
builds Christ's nature. Let's stretch your Bible up. This builds Christ's nature. God is building himself into us, making himself a part of us by dominating and ruling, satisfying our spirit nature. Let us say, your hand once again. The well, the well builds Christ's nature. You cannot build one up spiritually on philosophies or theory of the word or on the history of the word. We are made spiritual by living in the way and by the way living in us. Read the Bible and say, Jesus is love, Jesus is love, amen, amen. Are you depending on God's spirit to teach people? If you are not depending on God's spirit to teach people, you are only teaching them history. Tell your neighbor, you are teaching people history. When you are not depending on God's spirit to teach, you are teaching people history. It becomes history without God's spirit, this one. It becomes just mere history. History about Elijah, 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 Moses, about Jesus Christ, Joseph. If you are not dependent on God's spirit to teach people, you are teaching them history. The where become a living thing in the lips of believers. If you are not depend on God's spirit to teach, to preach as a pastor, if you are not depend on God's spirit to preach this message, and you just pick it because you are educated, you pick it because you can read a line, you pick it because you are orator, you pick it because you have the speaking skill, and you begin to say, Jesus is the Lord, amen? You are teaching them history, literature, God's word is spirit. Tell your neighbor. God's word is spirit. I can hear you. La parole de Dieu est esprit. Create material things. This is to tell you that spirit is greater than material. We are talking about how to depend upon God's spirit. As a Christian, we depend on God's spirit to worship. That makes us a Christian. If you are not depend on God's spirit to teach, to preach, to worship, to sing, to dance, to this, to fast, you are a religious man. Religious man means they have line of action. Right before you were born, it has been like that. Conventional. Time to leave the church and time to enter church. If there's any reason to spend more than that, it means there's a special issue to address. Your children yet unborn will still see that book on the table. It is written, not as it should be by divine word. And when you want to sing or you want to pray, you have prayer you offer. It is written just like that. And children yet unborn will also follow that line. We call it religious arts. All are in the book. This is crawling to our Christian life today. That bring about 40 days, 49 is religious. Jesus was led to the mountain, was led to do fasting. You must also be led to fast. But today the whole thing has crawling. Both religion and Christianity, we don't know the difference. People are confused. If you say 40 days, 49, it's okay. Why can't you also walk on the sea like Jesus did? We select the one we can achieve easily and make it a religious. 
If we depend on God's spirit to worship, there is no controversy. If I depend on God's spirit to worship God, I will not stand here and begin to condemn other people there. Because God has given me a map I should follow. So I will not double begin to say that man is not good, that man is not good, that man is not good. Hatred and jealousy because we are all religious. But when you depend on God's spirit to worship, you will not stand and begin to condemn other people there. People here, people there. You mind your business. If you cannot help that man, leave the man. If you can help him, help him, deliver him. Yes. If I cannot deliver you and I cannot help you, I will face my business. If I can deliver you, I will find time, enter his ministry and sit down. While he's talking, I can deliver him just like that. The word of God is further than anyone. So this unity in the church today as a result of religious art. What is the cause of this unity? Religious art. We are not depend on God's spirit to worship God. If you depend on God's spirit to worship God, your own portion of assignment is huge. You will not jealous the other man there. You will be content. It's huge. The one God gave to me is so huge. I can't jealous any other person there. But when you are a religious man, everything around you will influence you, will intimidate you. When I say religious, is they live by senses. They live by what they see. When you begin to live by what you see, no matter the knowledge of Bible you have, you are a religious man. 